Okay, so just wanted to kind of show off some of this gimbal here. On a nice walk path here, pretty close to the where I live. I don't want to give a good example of how I can keep this a lot steadier than I could before without the gimbal. It's a nice little walk path here. Goes up into some trails up into the woods over here on the west side of Cincinnati. It's pretty secluded. Doesn't really have a name to it. It's just something nice for the people who live around here. One thing I wanted to point out is today is the Cincinnati Reds opening day. Pretty excited about that. Go Reds. Looking forward to baseball. It's, this pandemic's pretty much wiped everybody out and it's just gonna be nice to see some live sports again. The reason I'm out here today is, again, I just wanna show off some of the gimbal here. I really like it. It really takes a lot of the shake out of it. You do kind of still have to steady it a little bit. You gotta be a little careful but as long as you don't move too fast or anything, it's it's real smooth. Hence the name, the smooth Q. Nice bushes here. Pretty cool. Trying to get a good look for you guys here. You do gotta kind of have to walk a little slow. You don't want to be moving fast. Let's see what it's like when I kick it up a notch. Okay, so I'm walking pretty fast here. Pan over to the bushes here. Go back to the cart path. I'll tell you, it seems pretty smooth on my end. I'm gonna, once I do a little bit of editing here and everything uh, we'll have a better idea I'll do a little review at the end one thing's for sure it's definitely steady it's a lot better than the thing that I was using before where you get that crazy shaky in the camera this seems to be doing a, a pretty good job now tomorrow we're going to the Cincinnati Zoo again this is gonna be our second trip I believe yeah we went two weeks ago I have a video of it I'm gonna put it in the video description down below because you we're going to cover all the stuff that we didn't cover the last time so if you miss anything on tomorrow's trip you'll be able to watch in the video link that i'm going to leave in the description i gotta say this thing seems pretty on point you do have to make sure that you balance it uh, what i mean by that is there's a little thumb screw on the back you have before you even turn the gimbal on you have to kind of balance the phone to where it's not going to fall to one side. I was having a little bit of trouble with that before. I couldn't get the phone to stay balanced. It, it would keep wanting to fall down. Come to find out there's this little arm that I was actually talking about in the last video, which I'll leave a link to uh, that video down below too. But there's this little thumb screw where you have to pull the arm out just a little bit to where your phone balances out before you turn it on. One nice thing about this walk path here is they have benches. So if you get tired, you can take a little break. One thing I really love about this gimbal is you can, you can track on something. Like if I wanted to track this bench right here, all you do is hit the mode once, and as I move the camera here, it stays locked on that bench, no matter what. It's pretty cool if you're wanting to get like a uh, car driving by or something. It'll, it will literally follow the car as it's driving by until it is completely out of focus. You do have to kind of use your mind a little bit. The gimbal is obviously going to move a little bit slower as you turn it because it's trying to play catch up, plus it's doing that on purpose so that it doesn't screw up your shot, so it kind of smooths over. As you come to the end of the walk path here, I don't really know how to describe this park. It's kind of, this walkway is kind of in between 
two schools and it's pretty close to a subdivision which kind of leads in the back i think people just put this back here it's a nice little jogging area something for people that live around here once you come to the end of the car path you can either turn around or you can keep going like i am here nice little uh nature walk trying to do a lot of bumps and stuff kind of get a good idea of how this gimbal is going to work out here does take a little practice i am really enjoying this um like i said it's going to take a little bit getting used to but like this i can use this little joystick and move the camera angle up and down without getting that crazy shakiness to it i like it I mean, it's really smooth. I feel like I can walk and not worry about the camera going like crazy. That's why I kind of wanted to do this little rugged area here to kind of get a good idea, you know, what kind of terrain this gimbal can handle. But I have a feeling when I go home and check it out, I think it's going to look pretty good. So uh, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on my channel anyway. Even if it looks bad, I want to give you guys an honest review. Um, these things aren't cheap. Uh, the one I got, I mean, $90, that's, it's the best one for the price. But most of these go for three or $400. I feel like I got a really good deal. Another little pan shot here for you. That is smooth. I can see why they call it the smooth. I just wanted to give you guys a quick review of what I thought of the gimbal. I thought it looked awesome. I just reviewed all the footage that we did on the path, and I am really excited about it. It is really cool. I just wanted to show you guys the buttons that are available to you on this. This was the joystick that I was talking about. These are the different modes to where if you press it once, it puts it into lock mode. When you, when you originally turn it on, it, it automatically goes into pan mode, but if you hit it once, it goes into lock mode, and that's, that's really helpful because it locks into place, and so when you turn it, it turns with you, because if you have it in pan mode, it'll just stay in one spot. Can't really show you right now without our other camera, but it's pretty neat. Like, if you have the software, it can do more features. I'm using the default camera for right now because I want to make sure that the actual I wanted to make sure the actual like stabilizing works and they say that your default camera is usually better anyway I'll tell you it's hot out there I know I was probably breathing a little heavy it's a good 91 92 degrees outside one thing's for sure this is going to be an awesome tool in the future um, like I said we're going to the Cincinnati Zoo tomorrow so all the new footage is going to be taken with this thing I love it it's absolutely awesome you can also you can also charge your phone with this charger and this the uh, battery inside the gimbal here lasts up to 12 hours just wanted to give you guys a quick update of what i thought about it i already reviewed the video i did an ending which i'm going to put after this clip right here. okay well that's going to do it for us today i hope you enjoyed the little review on the zyun gimbal pretty smooth i really like it i like how it pans through everything Go Reds. Hope they win tonight. I hope they win the World Series. Reds fan for life. I'll tell you what, I really enjoyed this. Um, it's a nice little walk trail. Hope it gave you a good view of how this gimbal can react when you have a good stabilizer. But with all that being said, I'm out. Remember, the adventure is out there.